hey everyone welcome back to my channel so for this tutorial we're gonna be doing this nice boho braids but i just want to like clear some things real quick okay so um people usually ask what is the difference between a goddess braids um a difference between um you know boho braids borbora braids and i always tell them that it's just it's all the same thing honestly right it's just that one has Pay, pay attention to what I'm counting. I'm going to get back to it. They all have um, more curls. So if you want like the boho braids for some people, um, you, you know, the more curls you get, the more it looks like the Borobro braids, right? Um, but it's the same name. But I would always say that whenever you see a style that you like, just show it to your stylist or check on their page and see if they have something similar. And that is probably the name for it. So you might not see the exact name that you have in mind, right? But they probably do something like that. It just means that if the goddess braids is looking like, if they say goddess braids and they probably only use like two or one bundle and you tell them you want to use like four or five bundles, it's going to be full. So the more curls you get, the more, of course, the fuller, um, you, then you get to see like the no braid um, look kind of vibe. But first, I just want to say, like, I feel so blessed and grateful because my client, this is the third time coming to me. The first time she came, she did, like, a medium size, same color, medium meat back. And she came from Austin, guys. Like, I'm in Frisco, Texas, right? And looking back, sometimes when I feel like giving up, when I feel stressed or I feel down and I'm just like, wait. And when also when I feel scared about taking the next step and everything, because now I'm thinking of like opening like a walk-in salon. That way people can like just walk in and just get whatever styles. Usually I used to work alone, but now I added someone on my team where we do like a late night services. So for example, if you have like an airport, you have to fly the next morning, like like one or two or three, five, whatever. You can always book a late night services and you will be out of there in like three hours so you can get ready for your flight. So I was really, really scared and skeptical when I, before I even made that decision, right? But I just did it, you know, and it's been going well. So I'm grateful about that. But, you know, now I'm like scared to like open like a walk-in salon and stuff. But hey, I'm just going to do it. But anywho, I'm only saying that to say because when I first moved from Michigan to Texas, I, I was bold. I just did it, right? I wasn't like scared or anything like that. I just took a leap of faith and just hope and pray that you know things would just work itself out and it did but for some reason now i just get too scared and i'm very indecisive i keep going back and forth with like my decision and stuff like that so but when i hear people coming to me from like across the country or across the states like different from different like you know state and like cities and stuff i just feel like even driving to me like driving like driving and like flying Sometimes I'm just like, whoa, it's really happening. It's been happening since like last year. <clears throat> but I've been like, sorry guys, but I've been like in constant like shock since last year. I just can't believe that, you know, it's actually people are actually like coming to me. So that that does help me feel better whenever I feel down and just makes me want to like just push through and just take whatever risk. Because when it comes to business, you have to just take the risk. If you don't take it, if you don't try it, you will never find out. You just may never find out and you probably just, you know, just stay where you are. I don't know, but I just thought to just say something like that. So back to the style. I'm using the four bundles of the, for my clients, I use the Virgin Curls. I use two bundles of the 27 and two bundles of the 613, right? So for this one, it doesn't matter what inches you use. You can use between, if you're getting like a waist length, I would probably recommend between like a 20 to a 24, but if you get some like a mid back, I'll recommend like an 18 to a 22, right? That way you can have a nice layered look for your clients. When it comes to the back earlier, when I told you guys to pay attention to it, I don't apply too much in the back because the back, you know, it's hard for you to get in for like to get through with the back to like take care of it. So I don't apply too much curls there. That way, you know, it's not gonna be hard for you to maintain. So for the first two for the first two row, I'll probably just apply like three curls, right? Maybe like on the first braid, I'll probably add like two color two strands of a color 27 and one of the 613 and on the next braid i'm going to add two 20 two 613 and one of 27 right so since we have like an equal bundles count of you know both colors i try to you know make it equally spread out if that makes sense you know per braid right 
so that one section is not looking like it has more 27 and the other one looking like it has more 613. So for example, think about it this way. When I'm finishing up the ends, right? If I finish up the ends with a 27 on my braid one, like the first, let's say braid A, on braid B, I would finish up with a 27. That way we have evenly, it's, it's spread across evenly and nicely. And also at the ends as well, and not just like at the top, because you just don't want one section to just have like too much of a specific color if that is not the look that your client is going for. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, my clients had like a medium mid back the last time she came and she came for a touch up. That's to show you how good the hair is. It is high maintenance because again, it's color. Even think about it when you color like your natural hair, if you go from like a 1B to like a freaking 27 or a 613, like a platinum blonde, it is going to be very high maintenance, right? So think about if it's going to be high maintenance for your natural hair, that means it's going to be high maintenance for, you know, the virgin curls and extensions and bundles and all that stuff, right? But with a good product, you will be fine. With like a daily and like a night routine, you will be fine. So in the past, what my clients have done in the past is that they would have their hair braided in like four braids, right? And that way in the morning when they wake up, they can use like a very nice curl spray and spray to like bring back the curls because the curls may or may not be altered when you do the braid because guess what? When you braid your natural hair, it's gonna alter your natural hair pattern, right? So the same thing for this one, but what you can do is that like you can always like spray it and it's gonna bring back your curls to how you would like it. I don't recommend the mousse. I used to use the mousse. I used to use the mousse in the past, but even even when my clients come for a touch up and I ask them what they use and they tell me they use some kind of like mousse, I still don't recommend that to like my clients at large because I just don't people like different looks. Some people like the frizzy look. I like frizzy look, right? So some people like the very like tame and silk and like and shiny look. So with that one, it just depends on the mousse that you get. If you must try a mousse, I would tell you to try a very expensive mousse, you know, research the mousse make sure it has um no alcohol there right no spirits is it i don't know excuse me guys make sure it doesn't has that in there right and just try to make sure it has a good living condition and substance in the in the most that way i don't know I, I feel like that would be like a good most to like start with and like try with and stuff and see how you like it right if it makes your hair freezy but you don't like it then don't use it if it doesn't make your hair freezy then maybe you should keep using it because i've heard it helped a lot of my clients in the past as well but at least you guys know that you know getting colored is going to be high maintenance like it's you have to take care of it you have to be you have to be on top of like your hair game for the hair to at least you know last as long as you want it to last i'm just happy whenever my clients come for a touch up because that tells me that they really like the hair they like the hair so much that they don't want to take it out and they just don't mind getting like a touch up for the hair that way you can literally have the same style for like four months and just like a touch up for like one time one time touch up basically right so i would say it's also a good you know it's a it's a good it's a good deal it's a good deal because you, you you get to enjoy the whole look without thinking of taking it down like after like a month or after like you know a few weeks and stuff like that so when i'm done with my clients here i usually go in to like trim the ends i do spray my oil sheen first because the oil sheen honestly when you spray it after your style it does you also need a good oil sheen that's true it, it does makes it feel you know nice easier to go through just imagine if you put oil in something it makes it easier to like move like a nice movement and stuff and after that i go back to like trim the ends you know to have like a nice layered look but also it also helped my clients to put their fingers through and brush through it think about trimming the ends of your natural hair natural hair when you trim the ends of your natural hair it's easier for you to like go through it um, with your fingers or with your hands and also it's easier for you to like brush through and stuff right so i just thought of like doing something like this and it does also make the hair feel like fluffy full but also easier for you to um manage as well and after that i do apply like you know my leave-in conditioner you know spray um a little bit of oil you don't want to apply too much oil on your client's hair because you don't want the oil to like weigh down on the bundles and stuff so you want to be careful when it comes to, like you know applying too much oil you don't have to apply oil every day maybe like twice a week really that's probably all you that's probably all you need and that's what it's looking like you know this is like a really really this is a dry look right and this is the wet look right now right now i've applied my product i've brushed through it and i'm brushing i'm brushing through it some more as you can see it's just going in nicely and smooth so if you like this look this would be like an equal count of the 27 and the 613 but if you want something that's like more like ash ash blonde or like 
not too like 27 inch then you want to apply you want to use more of the 613 and less of the 27 but yeah this is this is what it looks like um let me know if you have any questions i do have all the details in my description box and you will also follow me on instagram i do give details as to like how many bundles i use what kind of hair i use what you know even the even as as far as you know the the lens that i use as well right so yeah do check out my instagram page my instagram caption if you need any more information and let me know if you guys have any questions